building a drone for Earth is challenging enough. Now, imagine engineering a flying machine that must survive minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit temperatures while operating autonomously 800 million miles away, navigating through an atmosphere where methane falls as rain onto lakes of liquid natural gas. This extreme challenge is precisely what NASA engineers tackle with the revolutionary Dragonfly mission to Saturn's moon Titan. In this breakdown, we'll explore how this mission pushes the absolute limits of human engineering, from Titan's Earth-like yet utterly alien landscape to the unprecedented technologies being developed. We're witnessing innovations that will forever change solar system exploration. Combining complex scientific data with humanity's boundless curiosity about worlds beyond our own. Titan, Earth's eerie twin in the outer solar system. Imagine a world where mountains of ice rise like granite peaks. Rivers flow, not with liquid water, but with liquid methane. And the sky is perpetually shrouded in a thick orange haze. Welcome to Titan, Saturn's largest moon, and perhaps the most Earth-like yet fundamentally alien world in our solar system. Titan stands alone among moons with its substantial atmosphere, remarkably four times denser than Earth's. This dense atmospheric blanket creates weather patterns and geological features that mirror our home planet in ways that have astounded scientists. Enormous dune fields stretch across Titan's equatorial regions. At the same time, networks of valleys carved by flowing liquids crisscross its surface, creating a hauntingly familiar landscape, a primordial Earth portrait painted in otherworldly hues. Beneath these surface similarities, a world of extreme contrasts awaits. Titan exists at a bone-chilling minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, where water ice becomes as hard as granite and forms the bedrock foundation of the moon's landscape. In this frigid realm, methane and ethane play the roles that water plays on Earth, falling as rain, flowing as rivers, and collecting in vast lakes that reflect Titan's orange sky. When the Huygens probe descended through Titan's atmosphere in 2005, it captured images of a landscape shaped by familiar processes operating under alien conditions. Cassini's observations revealed coastlines, islands, and even hydrocarbon-based ice floating on liquid methane seas. Findings set the stage for our continued exploration. Titan is fascinating because its unique chemistry might mirror conditions on early Earth before life emerged. With an atmosphere rich in nitrogen and abundant organic compounds raining down onto its surface, Titan hosts complex carbon chemistry that could provide insights into how life's precursor molecules might form without liquid water. These chemical processes transform Titan from mere astronomical curiosity into a potential window to Earth's distant past. Dragonfly, the revolutionary nuclear-powered space helicopter, this alien chemical playground demands an equally revolutionary explorer. While Titan's unique environment presents extreme challenges that would destroy conventional spacecraft, it also offers something no other world in our solar system can, the perfect conditions for powered flight. Enter Dragonfly, NASA's audacious solution to exploring this distant moon, a vehicle with wings that will soar through Titan's dense, hazy atmosphere rather than wheels that would struggle across vast dune fields. Designing Dragonfly is like teaching a machine to dance in an environment that defies our basic understanding of physics. Its propellers are specialized blades similar to wind turbine technology, engineered specifically to cut through Titan's methane-rich atmosphere. These blades must operate reliably in temperatures cold enough to liquefy natural gas, a thermal extreme that would shatter ordinary materials. Dragonfly builds upon lessons from the Ingenuity Mars helicopter while adapting to Titan's unique advantages. An atmosphere so dense and gravity so weak that flying there is actually more efficient than on Earth. This allows the nuclear-powered drone to cover vast distances with relatively little energy. The exploration planned for Dragonfly is remarkable in scope. Over its 2.7-year mission, this autonomous flying laboratory will traverse more than 180 kilometers of Titan's mysterious landscape, exceeding the combined exploration distance of all Mars rovers throughout their missions. This aerial approach enables covering in hours what conventional rovers would require months or years to traverse. Dragonfly's autonomous navigation system represents a significant advancement in planetary exploration. 
With communication delays of approximately 2.5 hours, the drone must make split-second decisions entirely on its own, identifying safe landing sites and navigating between them without real-time human guidance. While flying, Dragonfly continuously analyzes its surroundings, collecting scientific data about the atmosphere and surface below. This enables it to hop between dune fields and potential cryovolcanic sites to build a comprehensive understanding of this enigmatic world. Surviving the extreme, Titan's alien atmosphere and surface. Beneath Dragonfly's flight path lies the strangest environment humans have ever attempted to explore. On Titan, water forms mountains as hard as granite, while a hidden ocean of liquid water mixed with ammonia lurks beneath the frozen crust, a potential haven for life in the most unlikely corner of our solar system. This frozen world presents an engineering nightmare unlike anything NASA has faced before. Imagine building electronics that must function flawlessly in an environment of extreme cold. At temperatures of minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, Standard circuit boards stop working or fracture completely like brittle glass. Every component of Dragonfly must withstand conditions that would transform Earth's atmosphere into pools of liquid nitrogen. The surface of Titan itself reads like science fiction. As Dragonfly touches down between flights, its landing gear will contact a landscape where water ice forms the literal bedrock of the terrain. This isn't the delicate crystalline ice we know on Earth but material transformed by Titan's extreme cold into something resembling granite in hardness. This frozen battleground is a defiant testament to nature's power, where every crystal of ice has been forged under alien conditions. This icy terrain constantly shifts and evolves through forces sculpting the moon's surface. Evidence suggests Titan experiences cryovolcanism, a bizarre form of cold volcanism where mixtures of water and ammonia erupt from below, reshaping the landscape in slow motion. These eruptions connect the visible world to Titan's most tantalizing feature, a subsurface ocean hidden beneath the moon's icy armor. This subterranean sea represents a cosmic grail for scientists, an environment potentially nurturing the chemistry necessary for life, shielded from harsh surface conditions. Could simple organisms thrive in these dark waters? This question drives Dragonfly's mission forward, compelling us to explore this alien world. A tale of two cycles, Earth's water versus Titan's methane. Above that mysterious subsurface ocean lies a world where Earth-like weather patterns unfold in slow motion, but with a bizarre twist. On Titan, liquid methane falls from clouds and carbs river networks into the landscape at temperatures cold enough to shatter steel, creating the only other known active liquid cycle in our solar system besides Earth's. Picture Earth's familiar water cycle, then imagine this same choreography with an entirely different substance as the leading actor. Methane transitions between gas, liquid, and solid states across Titan's frigid terrain. Lakes evaporate, clouds form, rain falls, rivers flow. The same meteorological drama we know, performed with a completely different chemical cast. Titan's seasonal patterns give this methane cycle its methodical rhythm. A single Titan day stretches across 16 Earth days, and its yearly orbit around Saturn creates distinct seasons that drive this extraordinary system. During summer, methane evaporates from equatorial lakes, rises into the atmosphere, condenses, and falls as rain elsewhere on the moon. Scientists have witnessed the evidence firsthand. Massive cloud formations gather and disperse in Titan's atmosphere. Not ancient formations, but dynamic systems that continue to evolve today. When methane rains pour down, they sculpt intricate river networks into the icy surface. These geological features would look strikingly familiar to Earth geologists. Along the shores of vast hydrocarbon seas, Coastal erosion shapes the landscape just as ocean waves sculpt Earth's coastlines, though at a dramatically slower pace. This parallel liquid cycle offers scientists a cosmic laboratory. By studying methane's behavior under Titan's alien conditions, researchers gain unprecedented insights into how liquid cycles operate under fundamentally different parameters. What they learn could transform our understanding of Earth's own climate systems, potentially helping us predict how our water cycle might respond to our planet's changing future. Engineering the impossible, Dragonfly's revolutionary technology. 
Titan's alien environment presents NASA engineers with what seems like an impossible challenge. Design a flying machine that operates in crushing cold, where electronics freeze and solar panels are useless. The solution they developed completely rewrites engineering boundaries with a nuclear heart that will beat steadily for decades in one of the most hostile environments humans have ever dared to explore. Conventional power sources become obsolete when operating a spacecraft nearly a billion miles from the sun. Solar energy diminishes to a mere whisper, just 1% of what we receive on Earth. The answer comes through a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, RTG, transforming heat from decaying plutonium-238 into a steady electrical current. This nuclear powerhouse generates approximately 110 watts initially, decreasing to about 75 watts by the time Dragonfly reaches Titan after its eight-year journey through the void. Imagine the challenge of piloting when every command takes five hours to travel round trip. With Earth 2.5 light hours away, Dragonfly must navigate independently. Its autonomous system combines sophisticated cameras, LIDAR, and sensors to identify safe landing zones without human input. Like a self-driving car negotiating traffic but with higher stakes, this explorer analyzes terrain features and atmospheric conditions in real time that no earthbound controller could assess. The scientific arsenal aboard this nuclear-powered helicopter tackles Titan's mysteries head-on. A precision-engineered mass spectrometer hunts for complex organic molecules potentially related to life's building blocks. A neutron-activated gamma-ray spectrometer analyzes elemental compositions before landing, while a sensitive seismometer listens for vibrations revealing Titan's mysterious interior structure. Dragonfly's communication system must transmit precious scientific data across interplanetary distances without relay assistance. A specialized high-gain antenna beams information directly to Earth, carefully managing the drone's limited power budget. Every transmitted bit represents a significant energy investment in this distant, frigid world. Journey to the Unknown – Dragonfly's Mission Timeline and Scientific Objectives Every watt of power, every autonomous decision, and every transmission sent across the vast emptiness of space serves one extraordinary purpose that transcends mere exploration. Imagine a spacecraft embarking on an epic voyage in 2027, destined for the mysterious moon Titan. This remarkable mission won't follow a direct path to Saturn, but will instead perform an intricate celestial ballet. Like a cosmic billiard ball precisely calculated for maximum momentum, Dragonfly will slingshot around Venus and Earth gathering the tremendous velocity needed to traverse 800 million miles without requiring vast amounts of fuel. After six years of journeying through space's cold silence, Dragonfly will arrive at its destination in 2034, Titan's equatorial dunes, a natural laboratory of organic chemistry operating over billions of years. Each landing site represents another chapter in our search for life's origins. The drone will deploy specialized drills to penetrate beneath the alien surface, hunting for samples containing the very building blocks that might have sparked life on Earth. The revolutionary heart of this mission lies in Dragonfly's mobility across this distant world. Powered by nuclear energy, the Explorer will lift off once per Titan Day, 16 Earth Days, visiting 24 distinct sites during its 180-kilometer journey. Each new location offers scientists a fresh opportunity to search for biosignatures, chemical fingerprints that could reveal whether primitive life existed in this hydrocarbon-rich environment. Researchers are particularly excited about comparing Titan's organic chemistry to early Earth conditions. By examining these alien materials directly where they formed, Dragonfly may help us understand whether life's emergence is a cosmic accident or a universal process. This would ultimately address the question that has haunted humanity since we first gazed at the stars. Are we alone? As Dragonfly prepares to journey across the cosmos to Titan, it carries with it scientific instruments and the legacy of human ingenuity and our eternal quest for understanding. When we look back at the history of space exploration decades from now, Dragonfly will stand as a pivotal moment, the point when we truly began to explore other worlds with the freedom of flight this mission embodies our species' relentless curiosity to understand in distant moons and our cosmic origins. What might we learn about life itself 
when Dragonfly takes flight in Titan's orange haze. As it soars above alien terrain, this remarkable craft carries the hopes of humanity, searching for answers to questions as old as consciousness itself. If you're as fascinated by space as we are, you won't want to miss these other videos. We dive even deeper into the universe's secrets and explore recent discoveries that could revolutionize your understanding of the cosmos. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic adventure. Stay curious and keep looking up.